Hello, y'all. Chef Jeffrey back with another edition here of my old school soul food video. And today I'm still trying to get the holiday season. If you're watching this, it's probably around the holiday time. But today I'm going to do uh, something that's also very good and holiday-ish or seasonal. Uh, my old school cranberry sauce. Now, I wasn't raised on this. I was raised on most people the cranberry sauce to come in the can, but I like this one also because this one go good with duck. If you got duck for Christmas, it go good on top of duck. It'll go good with turkey and also good, go good with cornbread dressing. Very simple recipe as all my recipes are. They all live with brown sugar, fresh cranberry. I use fresh cranberries. You find these in the produce section of supermarket during the holiday time. Um, orange juice. On zest and just a little uh, cinnamon and nutmeg, and that's it. And y'all look over my instant pot here. I got some uh, some uh, barbecue pulled pork I'm doing here, but I got a video coming for that pretty soon too. But that's going while that. Comes. So we're gonna get this going here. Like I always say, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Comment, 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 comment. I don't get enough comments on my videos, so I don't know if they're doing well. Thumbs up would help too. So anyway, this simple recipe, I'm gonna dump all this stuff in the pot. We're gonna heat it up and thicken it up with cornstarch. Very, very simple. Orange juice and recipe is online on my, at the, at the end of the video. Turn this on, get this to boiling. The video description, the, the recipe is online right there. Okay, got brown sugar. Cinnamon, nutmeg, orange zest. That's it. That's all it is to it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring this to a boil, which it takes about, about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. You're gonna bring it to a roaring boil, and you're gonna let the cranberries cook. Like I said, it takes about 15, 20 minutes for this to do. You're gonna let the cranberries cook until they start popping open. And that's what you want. Once it do that, then you're gonna tighten it with cornstarch to get a certain thickness and turn it off and chill it down and you got your cranberry relish. I don't like a relish, but I call it cranberry sauce. So I'm gonna let this boil, but I'm gonna come back when it start boiling here. Boiling really, really good and we're gonna tighten it up and we're gonna have some cranberry relish. So I'll be right back. We're gonna let this heat up. Okay, y'all. Be back here, you see it's boiling here. That's what you want. You want it to start boiling for like 15, 20 minutes. And see how them cranberries have gotten soft? That's what you want. You want the cranberries to cook and actually pop open. If there's a couple of them that's not pop open, that's fine. But exactly what you want. You want them to break open on you. See that how soft they are? Okay, now I'm gonna add the cornstarch. Just a little here. We want to thicken this up. Turn the fire up. We want to thicken this up a little. There we go. Simple, 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 simple. You still got the cranberries in there, stuck in there. It's more like a red. Put a little bit more in there. You don't want it thick, but you don't want it too thick. And when it cools down, it's going to be thicker. So that's about what you want right here. That's about the consistency you want. And like I say, you can do this ahead of time and for Christmas or Thanksgiving, you can do this a week before. And that's less stuff that you got to cook Thanksgiving day or the night before. This can sit in your refrigerator and you can actually freeze it too. It freezes well. I'm just cooking your cornstarch out of it a little. 
And that's it. We're gonna cut it off. Pour it in our bowl here. And this is gonna be very awesome. Put it in our bowl here. That's it. Very simple, family ready. See that? Move this out the way where y'all can see it. But that's it. Very simple recipe. Like I said, you can make this a week before Thanksgiving, a week before Christmas. And uh, let me taste it here. Got no sugar in it. Mm hmm. Oh, wow, this is so good. So good. You taste the nutmeg and the cinnamon in there, the orange juice plus the orange uh, zest I put in there. And you can see you still have the cranberry. You can see the cranberries in there. But anyway, Try this recipe, give it a thumbs up, comment, share. And like I say, this is an awesome thing. It goes good with duck, awesome with duck. Awesome with take a slice of turkey and put some of this on it. Oh my God, it's awesome. So try this recipe. Until next time, have a blessed old school cold food day. Old school orange cranberry glaze sauce, y'all. Old school style, old school orange cranberry sauce. Homemade. Go good on duck. Go good on turkey. Go good on dressing. Try this recipe. Old School Soul Food Facebook page. Old School Soul Food YouTube channel. Check out the recipe.